Hi, this is Matt at AppWorks, and this video is going to explore an interesting technique. So a client came up and asked recently about a feature so that on their dashboard, they could, they could work with a stored list of companies that they could easily change. And so I look at a couple different ways to do this, and there's two different techniques that we're going to explore. Basically, what we're going to try to do is build a list of IDs, and then we can make a simple relationship on the dashboard that goes between a global field, which is this G company list field, which I spelled wrong, and um, a relationship between that and the company table right here um, using that simple global ID. So one of the cool things that FileMaker does is if you have a multi-key value in a field like a global field or any field, you can have a relationship based on it, and it'll show you all the records that match, um, which is different than the way relationships would normally work, where it's kind of a one record to one record thing. So how do we do that? So what we do is in our customer list table, in the company list table, we need a method. So I'll open up the script workspace. And I've got two different methods. One of them would be a looping method. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set the field, the global field. So I use the set field command. And I'm going to use the one from the dashboard. Um, that's just called that G company list. And I'm going to set it to using the list function. I love the list function. So the list function in FileMaker builds a return separated list. And if you set something in it that does not have a value, then it doesn't add a line. So it just makes it a little bit simpler than saying using a case, station, a sta case statement with a built-in return. So it's just going to be the ID um, uh, of the record that we're looking at. But it's also going to be, it's going to be appending that um, to the existing list in the dashboard. So here's the dashboard company list. And so the, uh, the whole entire um, calculation just looks like this. So build the company list to itself plus the current record that I'm looking at. Then, of course, we have to have go to record next. And we have to have, at the very beginning, we have to have go to record first. And then we have to make sure that when we say go to next or record, uh, go, to, go to record next, that at the end we have to say exit. So we have to turn that on. And then I think it's a really good idea, anytime you're doing a loop script, to have an exit loop if function. Um, so for example, if the found count is zero or some error state like that. It's a very good idea when you're doing loop coding to do that. So already, already we have a little bit of code here, not too bad. Um, let's see how this works. So if I then did a find for all the records, maybe like with the name of John. That will bring me a list of just 56. And then I'll make sure that this button, save list, runs that script that I just made called save, save list method A. And then let's turn on the script debugger and see what this does. So what happens is it goes to the first record and then loops through. Oh, and I'm also seeing that because, because there's a script trigger on this, that trigger is going to fire every time. Um, but I can notice that as this is working, it sets that dashboard field. I can see a list of IDs getting built as it goes through. OK, so that's pretty good. And I'll go ahead and just let this run all the way. And now it's built my list of IDs. So if I return to the dashboard, I should actually see, and I do, I see a list of all the records of just those 56 companies. And then over here, I wanted to put that global field on there just so you can see how that works and what that looks like. And so those what those IDs are. I'll leave that there for a second, too. By the way, stick around. I'm going to show you some interesting tips about um, this relationship at the end of this video um, that you might not have known about how those relationships work. OK, so let's try method B, because um, I think it's going to be a little simpler and faster. So I'll go back to my customer list. And method B is actually just going to be one line of code. I'll name the script method B for clarity. And the way this one works is it uses a function in FileMaker called the 
That's a summary function. And it's called the list of function. So in my company table, I'll make a field, looks like I already made a field, called ID list. And it's a summary field. So not a calculation, but the type of a field is actually summary. And then the nature of the field is this list of. This is a fairly new addition to FileMaker. All these other ones here, most of them have existed actually more than 20 years. Um, but list of is pretty new. And what it does is it just grabs the IDs or any list of any field in the, in the whole um, table and turns them into a single field with very, very low cost um, of processor power. So it's very efficient and fast. And so I, as a result, I use this a lot. Summary fields and unstored calculations don't really have any weight in your database. They don't really take up space or they don't make the file bigger or slower in any way. Um, if you put them on layouts in certain ways, you can certainly affect performance. But by merely existing in the table, they don't actually um, uh, hurt you. OK, now that we've done that, uh, in my script, my single step is just going to be this. It's just going to be set field. And I'm going to use that same dashboard field. And it's the one called G Company List. And I'm going to set it to this calculation, sorry, the summary field that I just made called ID List. And it will do it for my current found set of records. So to really see how this works, what I'll do is I'll open up another window. And here's my dashboard. And I want to kind of see this in the corner. Uh, I'm going to set my found set to just maybe, you know, three records. So I'll omit three records from the list. By the way, this is another really good little trick. So I've got my entire found set. It's just those three records. And I'm going to click this button to invert my found count. So now I've basically done a find for three records. I'll make the button that I looked at earlier run method B, not method A. And then what should happen with one click is, and it did, um, it made the list just those three records, and um, it works instantly. So I can see those records on my dashboard. Um, so let's do another search of like maybe everyone named Jane. And that's 32 records, and I click Save List, and it's instantly saved. And then on my dashboard, I can see those records, build navigation to them, do whatever I want to do. By the way, one thing I didn't point out with method A, um, clearly I think you can see that I'm a fan of method B, you actually have to add one step to the beginning of this, which is to clear that dashboard. Because if you don't, then the next time you loop through it, it's going to just keep appending the list. So you'd really need another step here at the beginning um, that sets the dashboard uh, to nothing. Like so. I'm not sure why I'm doing that, because we're not going to look at method A anymore. OK, so back to this little tip that I said I was going to give you. Let's go back to our example where we just had a few records. So I'll just randomly pick that one, this one, and this one. And I want to save just these. OK, so here's my list of IDs. And there's those three records. And you can see that they're not really in order. Um, I should probably have picked some that are kind of farther in the alphabet, maybe. Uh, let me grab, I'll grab one from like a letter B and one from a letter, how about this one, FileMaker Database School with me. So these five are in kind of odd order. Um, and you can see that they're, they actually happen to be sort of alphabetized. <laughs> so <clears throat> let's say that we want them by contact name or some other order. The tip is, do you think you can actually go through to these records um, and cut this and change the order and put this one at the end, and then have the relationship sort work. I'll give you a minute to think about it. <laughs> um, that doesn't really work in a video. The answer is no, it does not work. So FileMaker is just going to work those records. If you have extra returns in there, it's not going to matter. If you do delete an ID, then it's going to then update that list. Uh, it looks like this record actually has a very strange, doesn't have a UUID, it's just the number two as its primary key. But this list, the order that you put in the relationship does not, even though you th might think that it would, um, change the sort order for your relationship. So if you want to sort your portal, you have to do it the ordinary way. So if I want to sort this by customer name, I just have to click sort and sort it by that field. Um, sort list key, I think Z. 
customer name. And so now those will be sorted by customer name. So yeah, this is a really good technique um, using the list of summary feature. Thanks very much for your time today.